Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going to be going over a review of the Blitz promo and looking at the new title update that they just released today into Madden NFL 21. We do have some new abilities, some new gameplay updates, and some cool stuff I do want to go over. But before we get into that, guys, we have to shout out our Poodle Squad for today, for today's video. Now, looking at earlier's comments, guys, we had a few Poodle Squad entries here. But today's shout-out goes to Seth Harmeyer. Shout-out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support. Thank you so much for showing love on the videos each and every day. Thank you. Appreciate it. If you guys want a chance to be shouted out, like the video, comment down below, Poodle Squad, turn on that notification bell, boys. And of course, if you need any coins, head over to Mother Reserve down below. Take advantage of the still lasting Blitz offers on there. Now, guys, moving down. Here you go. Here you can see Blitz Bolts have expired. So, transfer over to training. Nothing big there. Now, I'm going to be doing my review of the Blitz promo. Kind of my thoughts on it and what I really think, you know, could have been better, could have been worse. Um, Starting off with, of course, the players. Now, all this stuff was kind of crap. Let's open up our Mutt Rewards, by the way. I had these saved here once to toss them to a video. Gonna open them up. Let's see if we can get anything kind of decent out of this. We do have two Autumn Blast packs. Check it out. You never know with these packs. I mean, usually I'm trying to get a base elite or a gold, but you never really know here. So, again, we get the animation here. Let's see if we can get anything decent. 80 Jacob Johnson. Nothing too great there. Uh, you know, we kind of expect that, though. Next, we have the Autumn Blast Elite Pack. So, we have an elite right off the rip. 80 Yannick Ngakwe. Now, here we go. Here's the Thanksgiving player. 87 Jamison Crowder. Oh, another one. Okay, hold up. We get 92 Brandon Scherf, a fourth one, 85, this was a really good pack, this was a really good pack, I pulled the full one, right, I pulled the full Autumn Blast Days, alright, cool, okay, that was a really good pack, anyways, my best moment pack, my best moment reward pack ever, so that's the point though, so moving on guys, let's start with the players, right, let's review our players, in terms of players go, I think they could have done better, but they did, they did good, they did good, but they could have done better, right, so, you can't knock it too much. Now, started with the first thing that I think they could have improved was the Cam Chancellor. The Cam Chancellor clearly was lacking some stuff. Nothing wrong with choosing a Cam Chancellor at all. Actually, very excited that we got a Cam Chancellor. But they definitely messed up the speed on the Cam Chancellor. Because at the end of the day, anything below 90 speed isn't even usable in this game anymore. Even outside linebackers and ends need around 90 speed right now for us to be competitive with them. So they gave us a strong safety who's supposed to either A, cover deep ends of the field. But we've got like Tyreek Hill with 95 speed that can just outrun him. Or, if you're in the box, again, 89 speed's good, but again, it's going to be overshadowed now. I personally think Cam Chancellor was a great card, but the issue is the zone and the speed, right? So, if you're going to at least try to make him, you know, a little better, give him a 93 zone so he does get the 99 zone powered up and chemmed up. So, you at least get the chem and you get, you get the 90 speed, 99 zone, and hit power, you're like, okay, he's a great box, safety. But he doesn't get the 99 zone, he doesn't get the 90 speed uh, off the rip. So, what I think he needed was a 91 speed. You give this card 91 speed, and he's a great safety for a while, and as soon as he starts to feel slow... Toss him into the box. You have really no problem doing such a thing. That's kind of my only issue. There were Camp Chancellor. Now, in terms of the Tyreek Hill guys, they they hit the they hit the nail on the head there. Definitely did good in terms of um Cam uh the, uh what's it called in terms of the Tyreek Hill. I'll give it to them on that one. So that card was good. That's why I'm saying the cards were good. Like we got some fast cards. We got some good LTDs. My only issue was really with the Cam Chancellor. Otherwise, I think they really hit home with the players this time around. You know, Buda Baker was good. Force Buckner was good. We got Tyreek Kill now. I think Tyreek Kill, like I said, they did him perfect. Exactly what we would have wanted at 95 speed. He gets 95 speed powered up and chemmed up. He gets all the route running thresholds. That's all I really care about. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not throwing contested catches to him, but it also is nice that he does get above 90 catching stats as well. So, all around, Tyreek Hill, great card. Looking at some lower ones, like I said, Baker, Buckner, and a few other guys. We got the Kyler Murray. All these cards are really just fun cards. Like, I have nothing wrong. I think they really did well this year with the players. My concerns with the Blitz promo was really going to come with just Cam and mainly the offers Dante Jackson, Zach Martin. Shadavion Clowney, all these cards are pretty cool. But my real my real issue is going to come when it comes to the offers. The offers are where they kind of messed up. Now, in terms of offers, they pretty much everything was oriented around Blitz Bolts and um, money. And again, to really get Blitz Bolts, like, like a lot of Blitz Bolts, you pretty much have to spend money anyways to go, you know, open up a pack that gave you Blitz Bolts. You know, open up a, get a player that gives you Blitz Bolts using, you know, whatever. So that kind of sucked. I really wish they would have implemented the Fallen Leaves at the time because we did have a Thanksgiving currency. Although they got rid of it, I wish they would have implemented Falling Leaves as well as I wish they would have implemented Training. So in, pla in past years, so Madden 19 going back to then, I guess they realized that it w they, they probably did like analytics and realized that they do it this way, they get a lot more money, so that's probably why they did it. But in Madden 19, they dropped like at, let's say it was like midnight, a power pass, 91 to 92 power pass, 1,000 training, 2,000 training. Like that was cool. You could, you could really do the math on the training there. You have training, you could just quick sell some elite players. 
So you were able to, fe like, be it was feasible, right? You could easily just go ahead, quick sell some players in your binder and get the offer. Now it's like, oh, I need Blitz Bolts. How do I get Blitz Bolts? I need to spend $10 in that bundle that gives me Blitz Bolts. Okay, I'll do it, right? Like, that, that's kind of that's kind of like the point we're at, and I kind of wish it wasn't like that. Now, of course, you could buy them. You can get some from House Rules, but it just wasn't really quick enough or efficient enough to where it was worth it. I wish they would have definitely did better on those offers. Fallen Leaves, too. Like, let's say you had saved up, like, 10,000 Fallen Leaves in case for Blitz, right? Let's just say they dropped Blitz. You can make money off that, and that's why they'd stop, because we used to make a lot of coins that way. Like, when they did the Blitz with the Snowflakes a few years ago, I was making millions off Snowflakes. That's why I'm telling you, so many YouTubers came out and showed how much money they made off the Snowflakes. And that's definitely why they stopped. I made almost 15 million off Snowflakes one year. Because I stacked them on a bunch of Snowflakes. They dropped a Blitz offer with Platinum players using Snowflakes. Snowflakes tripled in price. I made so much money. Like, I understand. But that's what's fun. Like, that's what's always made Madden fun. Is that it's kind of like... It's kind of like a sketchy version of Wall Street. Like, if you do it right, and you stay ahead of the curve, you can really take advantage of some other people, right? That's kind of... And not to say that's right. But if you were ahead of the curve, like, hmm, I think there could be this. I'm going to invest in these millions like it was like nowadays it's like you can invest and make a quick buck you're not making a quick million right it used to be like that like you can go broke to rich overnight just with the right snowflake investment you can make you know this that nowadays they, they really cut that out of the game so now it's kind of just play the game build your team of money and that's it they, they've really gotten rid of all those other little you know financier ways of doing things and being cool with it so definitely hurt the game a little bit i hope they do eventually do another blitz this year like a christmas blitz like they did last year and implement you know snowflakes Frosty the Snowman's, Christmas Trees, whatever we end up using. Implement that and training, of course. So overall, for the Blitz promo, um, everything aside, I would give it a 7 out of 10, right? Um, 7 out of 10 just because we did get a Tyreek Hill. We did get some cool uh, we get some cool players. We got some cool souls. We got some cool card art. We did get some good offers, Whether I mean, despite them being on money. So if I had to base the offers, I'd say the offers were a 5 out of 10, right? 4 out of 10. I really don't think, like, the fact that I had to spend money on all of them, on literally almost every single one, wasn't really fun. Or Blitz Bolts, I mean, if they would offer some training or some coin options, like 50k real quick for a power path, like, that'd be cool. Despite any of that, though, offers, i say 5 out of 10. Players, I would say 7.5, 8, 8 out of 10. Average it all together. Obviously, the math isn't exact, but I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I think you make the offers with currencies and stuff, you get, you're giving it a 9 out of 10 for the Blitz promo. You And the camp chance is just an additional one. Like, I don't think it was the biggest of deals, but one fix they could have done specifically was make Tyreek kill the 94 and make Cam the 93, right? If Cam was going to be the worst player, which he clearly was, make him a 93. I guess they didn't want to give Tyreek that extra speed or something or whatever it was going to work out to, which I think they could probably adjust that, but it is what it is. And for that, now let's get over to the title update to show you that. All right, guys, real quick. So for the title update, the key highlights. Gameplay tuning, bug fixing, four new abilities, three new X-Factor players, 12 new superstar players, avatar customization, UI improvements. So I'm just going to tell you the stuff that kind of just applies to what we know. Uh, fix an issue causing the ball velocity to not always reach the desired speed. On some quarterback animations, Tuning to improve deep zone defenders' reactions to crossing routes from a single receiver side. Now, that's good because I did notice that a lot of uh, times on crossing routes, the opposite side safety just wouldn't play it. And, yes, I like that it's highly rated defenders. Exactly. You should be able to put backup safety Jalen Thompson on the uh, Cardinals on the left side, and he plays it, but then have Buda Baker on the right side also play it or vice versa, not play it. We need some consistency, consistency there. I do like that. Tuning to slow down cut reaction time for the linebackers and man coverage facing away from the quarterback. That's good as well. Fixed a run blocking targeting issue with gun wing flex weak inside zone play. Don't really understand uh, what was going on with there, but maybe you guys do. Fixed an issue where quarterbacks causing quarterbacks to appear to use an under the pressure pass while not actually being under pressure. That's cool because I did notice that it would say under pressure on quarterbacks and they weren't under pressure and the, the pass would go bad. Uh, new abilities, new superstar X factor update, which I'll show you in a second. Fixed an issue in man coverage where a block and release running back would instantly sw switch the assignment of the other blitzing player to make them blitz instead of playing them, which is actually a big deal, so I'm, hope I'm happy they fixed that as well. So here are the new abilities added to the game. Film study is back. Now, if you guys remember, film study was the one where you were able to see the um, the offensive plays. Now, again, they have to run the play five times in each quarter, and then after the end of each quarter, it resets to zero times. Just do it again. So and you can only see that play, I'm pretty sure. You can only see it full vision of the offense is run five times. So... Pretty much in that first quarter, they run inside zone five times. You're going to know when inside zone's coming. You're going to see it. So it's not going to give away everything they do. Now, I think it's definitely more nerfed. I don't even think it's worth it, honestly. Now, if you play franchise, not worth it because people aren't going to be running everything like that. But if you play Mutt competitively, it might be worth it because there'll be guys, like let's say Joe, who came out in that same formation over and over again. And he just hot routes and changes it up. So you'll have an idea. But overall, I don't think it's the best ability because at the end of each quarter, like, you might be one player from getting it and it goes away again. So you're going to be so focused on that that it's going to just throw your game off. Uh, backlash. Increased fatigue penalties against their tackler, which is actually decent, I guess. Recuperation, I actually do like a little bit. 
Players' ability uh, recover from the effects of fatigue at an increased rate. So let's say you're a run-heavy team like good Barry Sanders balls to the walls every game. Poor recuperation on him. After every play, is a pretty decent uh, fatigue increase or a decrease. He doesn't get fatigued as easily. My favorite one here is honorary lineman. Non-offensive lineman with this ability will frequently win impact blocks when blocking defensive backs in the open field. So pretty much this means that you're going to be in pancake blocks with tight ends, fullbacks, and wide receivers and running backs. What I recommend here, guys, honestly, it depends on the AP. If it's one AP, you could really have a field day with this. I would put it on all of my wide receivers, all my tight ends, my fullbacks, and like a gun a gun split left or whatever, any any kind of formation you like, uh, gun trips, tight end, and you go to the, you run to the left side with like an inside zone, and they might pancake block the whole left side. Like It could be fun. Probably going to need a nerf if it is as OP as I think it could be. That's pretty much it that we need to care about for us. Everything else is going to be just reg stuff. But yeah, that's about it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you want to join the Poodle Squad, like, comment, comment down below Poodle Squad. Turn on that noti bell. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.